In this video, I'll be showing you how to add multiple versions of your tab bar and more menus in Bodyboss app. You can now display different menus to logged in members versus logged out members. And if you're using the access controls feature, you can also display different menus to your members based on their access group. So for example, you could display a different menu based on which membership level a member is enrolled in, as defined by their access group. If you have not yet set up your access groups, we have another tutorial showing you how to do that, so please make sure to watch that video first. With that, let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app menus. This menu builder was previously located in the branding section, but we have now relocated it in its own menus area as we have added a lot of new options for menus, as you are about to see. From within this menu builder, you can now access the tab bar settings from here and the more menu settings from here. By default, before creating any menus, we have our single default tab bar. This is the tab bar that will display at the bottom of the screen to all members but we have now added the ability to create multiple tab bars to display the different members. If you want to show a different tab bar to specific groups of members, you can do so by clicking this create a new menu link. I can set this menu to be for logged in members, or I can set it to be a unique menu shown to users who are logged out. And you can see if I pick logged out, the system automatically names the menu for me to logged out tab bar. Since this is for logged out users only, we cannot assign this menu to an access group. This makes sense since only logged in members would ever be part of an access group. Note that logged out menus only display if you have disabled private app. If private app is enabled, then you can only log in or register when viewing the app from the logged out experience. So let's click create menu to save this logged out menu. And now, we have a new tab bar menu just for logged out users. From this drop down, I can switch back to editing my default tab bar. And as I create more menus, I can switch between them all from here. Let's go ahead and add some menu items to this logged out tab bar. Let's add blog, products, and courses, and click add to menu. And now we have those menu items showing in our tab bar. And this version of tab bar will only show for logged out users. Logged in members will still see the default tab bar. Then let's click save menu. You will notice the system has automatically added the more menu. While logged out, users will see the default more menu since it is the only more menu we have configured so far. So let's go ahead and create a unique more menu just for logged out users. To do that, we can click on more menu and here we see our default more menu and we can do the same thing we'll just click to create a new menu i'll set this more menu to be for logged out members as well and the system automatically named the menu to logged out more menu i'll click create menu and now we have a more menu just for logged out users let's add some menu items this time, I'll add some app pages. Let's add privacy policy in terms of service. I'll put them into a section. And I'll call this section about. Let's click save menu. And just like that, we have a custom more menu showing some basic app information just to logged out users. I can toggle the more menu icon style to outline. And that looks pretty cool. Now let's click save settings. Note that these changes are global and will apply to all more menus. So for example, if we switch back to the default more menu, you can see it is now also showing all menus in the outline style. Okay, so that's how you configure 
logged in versus logged out menus. Next, let's take it a step further and set up menus based on a member's access group. Now we're back in our tab bar settings. Let's click to create another menu. You'll notice that we can no longer create a tab bar menu for logged out members. This is because all logged out members would always need to see the same menu. And we've already created a tab bar for those logged out members. So this time, Instead, we will assign this menu to an access group. If you're not seeing these access group options, make sure you've enabled access controls from the BuddyBoss Lab settings. We have another video showing how to enable access controls through BuddyBoss Labs, so make sure to watch that video for more information. And then when you go into access controls, make sure you've already created some access groups. We will be assigning menus to users based on which access groups they belong to. I have already created three access groups for members who belong to my gold, silver, and bronze member press levels. And keep in mind, you can also create access groups based on a member's profile type, learn dashboards, and other parameters. If you have not yet set up your access groups, we have another tutorial showing how to do that, so please make sure to watch that video for more information. Okay, so let's go back to the top bar menu we're creating, and we'll select from our access groups. Let's assign this menu to gold members. I can even combine access groups if I want to. For example, let's add silver into here as well. And now, this menu will be available to members who are part of either the gold or silver access group. You might use this setup if gold and silver members get access to some premium content in your app that bronze members should not have access to. I'll name this menu gold and silver members. Then let's click create menu. We would want to add some menu items into this menu, but we can come back and do that later. For now, Let's add one more menu for our bronze members. Again, I'll click to create a new menu. And this time, I'll select the bronze access group and call this menu bronze members. And click create menu. And again, you would want to add some menu items into this menu. For example, you could create an app page encouraging members to upgrade to silver or gold, and then add that app page into this menu. The app page would then be only visible when viewing the app as a bronze member. You may also notice we have this text here showing us the tab bar's priority is set as 2 of 4. And we also have this new options area for setting menu priority. As long as you have created two or more custom tab bar menus, you will see this ability to reorder their priority. Let's click Set Menu Priority button, and from here, we can see both of our custom tab bar menus we've created, plus the tab bar and our custom logged out tab bar. These menus are ordered by priority, from highest priority at the top and lowest priority at the bottom, and we allow you to reorder the priority of your custom menus. The reason we let you do that is that someone might have access to multiple access groups at the same time. So as the site admin, you need to decide the priority. Generally, the higher option would have the most content available to the user. So you would then want to set it as the first priority menu item. Now if a member has access to multiple access groups at the same time, as long as they're in gold or silver, they will see the top bar menus that are meant for the members with the highest access. And then if they log out, they will see the logged out tab bar. And if a member is logged in but is not part of any access group at all, they will still see the default tab bar. Let's click Save Changes. And now, our menu priority has been set. Keep in mind, we are still showing the default more menu to all logged in members. So if you want to display custom menus on the more screen based on access groups, you want to do the same thing for the More menu. You would create custom More menus for each access group. And then once you've created all of your custom menus, you would be able to reorder the menu priority for all of your More menus as well. 
As you can see, this is a powerful addition to Buddy Boss app. With multiple versions of app menus, you can more easily protect content for different types of members. This is all part of our effort to provide you with more flexibility and control in your Buddy Boss app.